Well, it is my privilege to welcome you here this evening on behalf of Brooke and Tyler and their families. We certainly do come to celebrate with Brooke and Tyler who have chosen to live their lives together as husband and wife. But today is much more than that because it's their desire to put everything that will happen this evening in the proper context by first pointing to the love that God the Father demonstrated to us by sending His Son, Jesus Christ. And the love of Jesus demonstrated in sacrificing His life for us. This is a beautiful day, a beautiful venue, one you will remember for a long, long time. There are a lot of people who have gathered here together to celebrate with you today. Tyler and Brooke, let's do this. Marriage is patterned after Christ's covenant relationship to His redeemed people, the church. And therefore the highest meaning and the most ultimate purpose of marriage is to put the covenant relationship of Christ and His church on display. That is why marriage exists. The scripture teaches us that God is love. God is the author and creator of love. God gave the first bride away. For Tyler and Brooke, there is something much more important than this wedding. They are looking beyond the celebrations of this day, and that is a lifetime of treasuring Christ together. This is not just a casual event. It's a time of worship of the one who designed it all. It's a time of worship of the one who brought two lives together, committed to growing together in their love and their care for each other and their worship of God Himself. Wedding vows are not a declaration of present love, but a mutually binding promise of future love. Tyler and Brooke have written these vows to each other. I, Tyler, take you, Brooke, to be my wife. I, Brooke, take you, Tyler, to be my husband. To love and cherish you, even as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for it. To submit myself unto you in all things. To lead you and share all of life with you. To follow you through all of life's experience as you follow God. That in his grace we might grow together. Into the likeness of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. I commit myself to you until death takes one of us from the other. Determine that on that day I will have played a part. And when God says to you, well done, good and faithful servant. Tyler and Brooke, as a representative of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you as one. Tyler, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Tyler Lovingwood.
greatest honor to be here to celebrate a union that I am absolutely confident will lead Brooke and Tyler to be more like our sacrificial and generous savior. Here's to your life together, and here's to the best that is always yet to come. I love you guys.